Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how we can fire an event using Flow Designer. So to fire an event, first I need to register that event. I will navigate to the registry module to register the event which I want to fire. And I'm going to click on registry, new. So here I can give any name for my event. The way I decide for the event name is the use or the whatever the use case is for that for which I'm going to use my event. So let's assume a scenario I want to fire an event whenever on incident table the priority changes to critical. So in that case. I would give something like this and I can select the table name here as well and this is an optional field if I want I can leave it as empty submit so this is the name of my event and now I will navigate to the flow designer and create a new flow. Let this be the flow name, application global system user, submit. I'm going to add a trigger, the record is updated, I have to select the table name here, incident is my table name, I will add a filter, so priority changes to critical and I want to run it for each unique change. So done and then I can add an action over here. So to add the action for event, we do not have anything out of the box. So I'm simply going to select the create record option. And the table for my record is sys event this is where I need to add that record and uh, now I'm going to pass the parameters so first one is name where I'm going to pass the name of my event which is this one second one is I can pass the table name And table name I can simply fetch from here if it works. Okay, I can write it in this way as well. And the next parameter is state. So this will be in the ready state. Next parameter is the instance here i'm going to pass the sys id of the incident record so this is my incident record towards right and this is the sys id and my last parameter would be either param1 or param2 or both um, let's say here I want to pass the email ID of XYZ person or any other string based on my use case. Let's say if I want to trigger a notification to the assigned to person that the priority of this ticket has changed, 
then I can pass assign to over here in the param one. So here it is going to be like this. So we are all done. Now my event will be fired as and when the condition matches and let's see how it is going to work once I publish this flow activate meanwhile I'm going to open an incident form Yeah, this is activated. <laughs> Even tutor. Let's add some one in the assign to. Problem manager. And now I'm going to modify impact and urgency so that the priority becomes critical. Now it is. Let's save the incident record. Okay, work notes. Yes, and save it now. And I'm going to hop directly to the event queue to see if that event has fired or not. Okay. Yes. So this is the event and it has already been processed. So this is how we can find an event uh, using Flow Designer. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.